And if the individual really wanted to take advantage of that wisdom that you just provided, would it behoove him to begin crafting that narrative and writing that narrative even before he has the pre-sentence investigation report so he can communicate that to the probation officer, thereby giving the judiciary an opportunity to review even before elocution and maybe test the theories that the defendant is offering at the pre-sentence investigation report? Well, that's one of the best ideas I've ever heard. And the reason why I haven't thought of it is I'm not sure I've ever seen it. But I would be super impressed in reading a pre-sentence report if I knew that the defendant had thought about that even at the time the pre-sentence report was being prepared rather than waiting till the night before sentencing to come up with it. So that would be uh, astoundingly impressive to me to have a defendant that thoughtful and a defense lawyer that thoughtful that they would include that information in the pre-sentence report. And the pre-sentence report, you know, you, because you read that, you know, it's primacy and recency, because you read that before you go into sentencing, I think most judges read any complicated pre-sentence report at least a couple of times, I know I do, uh, that helps shape your frame of reference and your thinking going into the sentencing. So having something positive like that, as long as it's believable and credible, um, would really be helpful and put you in a better frame of mind towards that individual. And if you were skeptical of it, you would have an opportunity then to think about it, what type of questions you might want to ask defense counsel or the defendant if they were willing to answer the questions to make sure that uh, the offender is being um, candid and, uh, and credible in their comments.